Where's Ben today? Oh, that's right. He's a little, he's feeling a little under the weather, so you guys are stuck with me. This is Whitney High School Live, and my name is Rohan Vora. Now today on the show, we have two very special eighth graders who are going to be singing and playing the piano, and their names are Joanna Huang and Rachel Tamayo. So let's take a listen. In the dark, I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Oh, all my friends are turning green. You're the magician's assistant in their dreams. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh -huh. and I've come on stack later, running down to the river. Taking away to the dark side I wanna be a left hand man I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong There's this movie that I think you like This guy decides to quit his job And move to New York City This cowboy's running from himself And she's been living on the high shelf Taken away to the dark side I wanna be a left hand man I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong I just wanna, I just wanna know If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay I just gotta, I just gotta know I can't have it, I can't have it any other way I swear she's destined for the screen Closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen A lady running down to the riptide Taking away to the dark side I wanna be a left hand man I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong Oh lady running down to a riptide Taken away to the dark side I wanna be a left hand man I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong Oh lady, running down to the riptide Taking away to the dark side I wanna be a left hand man I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong Wow, that was that was um that song gave me like riptides that in my heart. That song gave me joy, Vance joy. You know, I want we all want to know what you guys think. So send us on our Facebook, our Instagram, send us your feedback, and we're gonna have that feedback on the show tomorrow. And we have a very special announcement, a super special announcement coming from Bernice and Sumitra. So let's hear it. Hi Whitney. So you may have noticed that the garden, the South Gate, is in the process of being cleared out. The thing is, Samitra and I have been working with Ms. Shea and Mr. G to redesign and replant the garden. We're working on volunteers from Key Club and NHS to help clear out the soil, add fertilizers, and plant drought-tolerant drought, drought flowering plants that will not only attract hummingbirds and butterflies, but also fulfill our goal of creating a memorial garden for Whitney's educators. So uh, the garden's going to be home to a lot of really cool species. Uh, part of the garden is going to um, be planted with a bunch of milkweed plants, which as many of you know are the host plant for the monarch butterfly. And um, so basically if we do have milkweeds, we will have monarch butterflies putting um, their eggs on the milkweed plants. So you guys will actually be able to see the life cycle of the monarch butterfly happen right in front of you. That'll be really cool. Um, the flowering plants in the garden will also attract six species of hummingbirds and over 50 other species of butterflies. 
Uh, fun fact about hummingbirds, they actually build their nests out of spider webs, and um, some, of the, some of the plants we're gonna be planting in the garden might be potential nest sites for hummingbirds, which would be really, really cool. Uh, now the garden is going to, like Bernice said, be planted, planted all with drought-tolerant plants. Um, all of the mulch and the fertilizer we use is going to be sustainably sourced and eco-friendly. Um, all the watering is going to happen with reclaimed water and the irrigation needs will be extremely minimal. Um, but in order to make this project happen, we need to raise $1,100 by December 17th. We're crowdfunding through Indiegogo.com and we've already reached half our goal, but we still need a little bit more money. Like Savitra said, we, there still needs to be a lot more money to come in. So here's how you can help. Go to Indiegogo.com, type in Whitney High School Memorial Garden, and ask your parents to make a contribution. Donations are payable by credit card, so you have to ask your parents. Come on, Whitney. There are approximately 1,020 students. So if all of you donate a dollar, we can do this. So remember, no, no contribution is too small, and every dollar counts. So we appreciate, we appreciate everything. Back to you, Rohan. That was awesome, Bernice. Now, um, Ben, we know that you're watching, so we just want to say we hope you get better soon. No, we hope you get better soon. So, <laughs> also, uh, this has been Whitney High. This has been Whitney High School Lives, the Monday edition. So I'm gonna end the show with an oxymoron. Have a great Monday. <laughs>